Nice one, boys. Very impressive, though you should work on that ending. I've drawn up a contract for you. Bike trouble? Yeah, this old thing's useless. It was such a lovely day, I wanted to go for a ride in the country. Well, why don't you come with me? I'm just about to go for a spin in my MG. I should stay and sort this out. Yeah, I can fix that for you later, come on. Is that thing safe? Safe? You mean, like, can it give you an electric shock? I just meant it looks a bit on the antiquated side. That is one of the finest sports cars ever made in Britain. See you coming? Okay. Have I got time to wash my hands? Sure. Cappuccinos all round, Ellie. Okay. Let's get down to business. I liked your CD. I think you boys are good. I even think you might become quite big if you get the breaks. But listen, I'm only going to say this once. You must get a new singer. Got it? What's wrong with Matt? Oh, do I have to spell it out? No. Don't. Good. Because you should always listen to your Uncle Eddie. my little old English sports car. I love it. I never understood why the British stopped making cars. Okay, I, I can understand pulling out of volume production because those cars could be made cheaper elsewhere, but cars for niche markets? The Brits were the best. Sorry, Bill. This won't take a second. No problem. You don't have to sign anything you don't want to. But if we enter into a formal agreement, I can give you boys a helping hand. Finished. Thanks, Ali. Thanks. What kind of help? First off, I can fix you up with a gig. A gig? We could set up a gig for ourselves. At the Galaxy? I don't think so. What else? Let's put it this way. I'm seeing an old friend of mine this evening. He signs up new acts for the top record companies. I could ask him to come along to your show. What do you say? A new ride? I may be an American, but I'm no cowboy. I guess you can. Yeah, I love it. I learned to ride at drama school. It was part of the training. You know, speaking, singing, dancing, horse riding. Right. So, do you do a lot of acting? I wish. I actually do a lot of teaching. I've got to make a living. Sure. Do you like what you do? Well, my job. Yeah. My job's good. <laughs> There's no need to read the whole thing. It's a standard agreement. Sorry, I'll be back in a minute. I just need to have a word with someone. Girl trouble. Hmm. We're meeting at the Lobart about ten, so if you'd like to come along. Hi, Helen. Hi, Simon. I didn't see you in here. I'll catch you later. Is he a friend of yours? Oh, yeah. Well, sort of. Actually, I came in here to see Ali. What are you doing in here? <laughs> Everything all right? It's all totally above board, Matt. You just have to sign here. Uh-huh. But what about Simon? We only need one signature.
And your copy. You won't regret this. You know how Matt was really cut about Jane? Well, this music thing's become really important to him, and I just wanted to give him some support. You mean all this secrecy is because of Matt? But why didn't you tell me? I thought you were seeing somebody else. Oh, sorry. I just didn't think I could tell you. I know you can't stand his music. It isn't music. Well, Eddie thinks it is. And you believe him? No, but Matt does. And that's enough for me. Where's Eddie? Oh, he couldn't hang around. He's a busy man. You know, I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Me neither. I'm getting to really like it here. That's good. The thing is, I might be going back to the States. For work? Yeah. That's why I had to go back to New York, just before you moved into the house. I might be taking on something new. It's not definite. They're still making up their minds. What's up? Nothing. I was looking for Ali. She's still at work, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Right. That doesn't look too good. Yeah, the chain keeps coming off. Right. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye. Bye.